But me and Danny worked very hard this week. Uh, just me and him trying to get things to work on our deep passes, uh, and he was able to show it tonight. You, you've only got five touchdowns left this season, but you're averaging 50 yards on those touchdown catches. How does what makes you the big play guy for this team? Um, I'm just blessed to be putting those opportunities. You know, um, you know, we never really think about the statistics of it. Uh, we just play to each other's strengths, and I feel like uh, the coaches see that as one of my strengths and be able to execute. The one in the fourth quarter, what was the kill of that? The key of that one, that was kind of the kill shot for you guys, the seven yarder. Um, you know. They was taking away a lot of the deep things after the first touchdown, so we was hitting them for quick passes for a while. And then, you know, Coach Canada came and, told, and just took a shot, and I was able to execute the route and threw a great ball, and we was able to complete it for a touchdown. Yeah, this is the first time those intermediate passes have really hit this year, those 10, 12-yard passes. How crucial were those? Oh, big. You know, um, you can't come in the game and just throw it deep uh, every time. So doing that was able to open up the run game some and also let us get uh, deep uh, behind them again. So I think that's a big part of any offense, and I'm glad we were executed. Yeah, what is it about those early mistakes for you that you turn them into great games afterwards? The same thing with Auburn. Um, you know, it's just you're going to make mistakes, uh, but you can't. You can't let those things get you down. And I'm just very avid on just making plays throughout the whole game. It's a 60 minute game. So I'm blessed to uh, be able to get op another opportunity after I might mess up. Uh, no one wants to mess up, but if you do, you have to shake it off and uh, worry about it after the game. And that kind of happened there. Did it feel a lot like a for you? Uh, you know, you know, I just came in uh, after the mistake early on. Uh, I was able to talk to the uh, special uh, teams guys and just find ways to not let that happen again. Uh, try not to force things, uh, just take what they gave us. And after that, you know, just go back on offense and differentiate the two from special teams and offense and they play. You're half, of, you're half of the equation, but how good do you feel for Danny that you guys were able to connect on some of those two? Oh, I feel, I feel, I'm very happy for him. You know, I try to be by his side this whole week because, you know, he, he get a lot of criticism uh, that I feel like he doesn't deserve. But, um, you know, he's a strong guy. He's going to come out and work hard no matter what, no matter what anybody says about him. And it kind of motivates me to continue to help him out because he's going to help me out. You guys had those short fields in the first half, but you weren't able to take advantage of those. What was the offense's attitude at halftime after going in 7-7? Seven, seven? Um, we knew that it was a 60-minute game. Uh, we was blessed, you know, to get another opportunity to come out. We play hard. Uh, coach made sure that we play hard. 